Hi, Alan. A hug of support for Larry Skoyan, who lost his building to fire Monday night. Flames ripped through the laundromat and three apartment suites upstairs at around 8.30. Like when I got here, there, there was so much flame, couldn't reach really all if it was inside or outside, so there's was a covered carport at the back, and the gas, the big gas meter was fully engulfed, not engulfed, but surrounded by flame. So we were, that was the first concentration, is to protect the gas meter. Also of concern was the fact that there's a gas station right beside the flames. The pumps were shut off, eliminating the threat. Lumbee resident Sean Stephen is being called a hero for his bravery. He entered the building at the height of the flames to save a friend. So I went and went upstairs and kicked in the door, yelled his name. Didn't see him, but I couldn't see anything. Um, took a pretty good inhale of air, and then I, see, I heard a lady scream in the back. And that's when me and the owner of the Mac store went back there. Uh, I told her to leave, and by that point, panic had set in, so she just, you know, panic people, they don't really clue in what's going on, so she wanted to make a phone call, and I was like, you can use my cell phone, you have to get out, she's like, not without my animals. Stephen saved the animals, and everyone got out safe. Crews also managed to save a neighboring business. The cause is under investigation, but Stephen says it would appear that the fire started outside at the back of the building. I know it started outside. It started outside in the carport. Um, in the middle of the carport or so. Mike Blaine lives behind the burning building and backs up what Stephen said. There's no question that the fire started um, outside. I'm not going to jump to any conclusions that the fire investigator make his own decision, but the uh, we have had problems with um, some people out here uh, causing trouble. The building was one of the oldest in Lumbee, built in 1936. Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.